Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face TV, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to spit on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. Now, Spit Squad, even though Brian Steele essentially got the W, he's not happy with what happened. Um, The way he's presenting it is that he don't believe it was justice. He Thug should have gotten a not guilty, and I'm sure that Brian Steele wanted to go for it, but Young Thug just want to get home to his kids, want to be able to make money, want to get back in the uh, role of life. Now, the hard thing is that he's going to be on probation for 15 years. The next thing I want to know is what... What can they do if they feel like they've been wronged? Like, is it something that they can take even though they put the plea deal in? Is it something that they can take to an appeal board and say, hey, these are the things that was wrong with the case. This is what happened here. This is what happened there. They withheld Brady material. They lied. They did this. And then maybe uh, work the case backwards and then get that guilty plea vacated um, based on all the uh, mis- Man, all the all the things that Miss Love and Fonnie Willis did to try to jam up Young Thug. Now, when we look at this situation, man, um, Thug is happy to be home. When I listen to the case, is he culpable for some of the things that happened? Of course he is, but that doesn't make you guilty. It's two different situations. Now, let's just say if um I get into it with somebody, right? And then I make a song about them. Well, the people around me may not know that this is just a joke. And let's just say if it's somebody who haven't been around me in a while, they may say, you know what? If I go and get dude that he into it with, then that could be my way back in to be cool with him. But the whole time I'm just drumming up beef to try to get my channel views up or whatever it may be. Right. So I think that's what I mean by culpable, but guilty of a crime. No. If you're not telling nobody to go do that crime, you're not guilty of that crime. But, you know, you could uh, be the person to spark that crime. And I'm not saying he did any of that. I'm just being straightforward like I always am when I talk, when I give y'all my opinion, my opinion, which affects. Um, I try to tell y'all exactly how I think and how I view it. And I don't believe he's guilty of the crimes. Or I'll say I don't believe they had enough to prove him guilty of the crime. Whichever way you see it, if you feel like Young Thug is guilty, that's fine if that's how you feel. But do you feel that they gave enough evidence to prove him guilty? And that's the part that always comes down to, man. And Brian Steele made another great point. Um, He said that Georgia is using a RICO status to get guilty verdicts against people they normally wouldn't get verdicts against. So essentially... Hey, you got this one person at the top who may not even be at the top, but it appears that they at the top. They may be telling everybody calm down, fall back, but because they attached to these people and there's so many people on this trial in this case, you end up going through what you go through and they're able to get these higher up people to plead out and plead guilty, even though they may not have done nothing because they pulled them into a conspiracy. So man, super unfortunate. And I've been saying for a while, we need something done, some reform within the justice system and within the family court system but we'll see what happens moving forward check out my original chicago hood movie in the end screen no time to play fair 